Hey guys, the Nigerian Defense Headquarters on Thursday morning declared eight people wanted over the gruesome killing of 17 military personnel in Delta State on March 14, 2024. And this was announced in a circular issued by the Defense Headquarters via its verified social media platforms, which identified the suspect as follows. Ike Vero Daniel, Omote Bono, a.k.a. Amagbum, to Professor Ikpakpo Arthur. We have Adewe Dennis. We have Igoli Ibe, Akata Malawa Daniel David, I meant to say. We have St. Clair, Olikeki, Oliki, okay. We have Clement, Ikolo, and Ruben, Baru. The images contained in the circular shows that seven out of the suspects are men with only one woman. Sahara reporters had reported how President Bolam Ahmed Tinubu confirmed national honors on the diseased military personnel on Wednesday during their burial in Abuja. The president also announced the provision of housing facilities for the surviving family members and scholarships for all their children up to the university level. He also directed the payment of debt benefits to the family members within 90 days. Tinubu confirmed the national honor of member of the order of the Niger on the commanding officer 181 amphibious battalion, Lieutenant Colonel A. E. Ali, Major C. D. Safa, number 13976, Major D. E. OB, number 14. 395 and Captain U Zakari number 16348 and others. Well, Nigerians have reacted when military is said to release captured bandits after clearing them of wrongdoing, reasoned behind the agitation for Biafra. Nigeria is wickedly corrupt. The only remedy to live is eviction. Wow, seriously, imagine Nam the Kano must hear this good news. Okay, a reading comment from Biafra headquarters. He must state, cheers. I'm sure are you that they are the ones that committed this heinous crime. But the real terrorists are being granted bail by a Nigerian court in Borono State. I do not know the, the sin that I committed in my previous life to be sent to this country. I just don't know what I did to deserve this punishment. Sorry. That last guy should get a lawyer and report himself at the nearest police station. A new Nigerian army would look for him when I saw the video he made. A country that hates truth. Again. Nigerian army cannot be the judge in this case. It is better the Nigerian police set up committee and look into the issue. I don't support crime, neither do I like double standard. Handle the killers of soldiers in the north like this, and everyone will be glad. Compensate the families of slain soldiers on duty in the north, and everyone will be glad. Hundreds of soldiers have been slaughtered in the north, with no people declared wanted. Instead, their killers are recruited into the army and police, according to Mazenam Dekano. I think this person said, you know, he made a very good point here. Now, the federal government of Nigeria, led by President Bola Metenbo, has confirmed national honor on these on those slain 19 soldiers. Don't forget that those are not the only soldiers that are being killed in Nigeria. 
since the fight of insecurity in this country, since 19 years, almost 20 years now. Those people who are being killed in the north, what about them? I watched a very gory video. You know, not be, all, all, not be everything that they, they bring out on social media. So many news channels will not carry all those things. So just two legs, we are gone. That was what Bandit did to him. Did to him. You see his leg like cow meat. They scatter it. You cannot hold it. You can only see him from his thigh. At the end of the day, that man is going to be abandoned by the government. We don't see so many stories like that. The wives of these uh, soldiers being abandoned, their family and everything. They don't take good care of them. They don't take care of them, not to talk of taking good care of. So if you are doing this for these people, we are killed in data states. They should also do it to those Nigerian soldiers. They were killed in the southeast. They were killed in the north as well. Even Nigerian police. What do you do for Mr. A? Do one for Mr. B? That me makes you you know, a hero. You cannot just say because uh, people are so much talking about this one. That when they say they don't even pass this ones, then they see them for, for, for South East, they see them for, they don't see them for South East, they don't see them for North, mostly in the North. You get. So that is what Nigerians are saying. You know, go just do them for these people. Also, you know, do it to other soldiers who have been killed, you know, in one way or the other. Why on duty? Now, talking about these uh, uh, seven persons that have been declared wanted, you know, the killing of these Nigerian 17 soldiers in that aspect. Nigerians are saying, what we, we just have to be very careful so that you will not go, they declare... An innocent person, like the last person, the boy that they, that made a, a video that said the reason why, you know, those soldiers were killed. And apart from that, a Nigerian military lied to Nigerians that they came for peace make uh, peace peacekeeping. That that was a lie. Those soldiers killed never came for peacekeeping. Ladies that they are working for, please pardon me. That they are working for Tompolo. You know, a Niger Delta warlord. So, you see, there are so many, there are so many, you know, so many uncovered truth on what happened, but that is not the, the issue now. Nigerians are saying, if you are doing that for these people, also do it for those who have been killed in the north and those who are also, you know, killed in the southeast on duty. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. If you are just joining us for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. 